Hello everyone, Robert Q. Saddleman here. Um, just a quick notice that on the website you'll see at the top we are plugging something special. Um, Bonus Stage Marathons is going to be doing a Final Fantasy Marathon. Now, they're playing games 1 through 7 and that one, Mystic Quest, in order to raise money for the Autism Research Institute. Or something along those lines, I think. Um, their goal is $1,500. And every little bit helps. And you can find their... <laughs> Sorry, this is what happens when you don't have enough sleep. Um, and where you can find it is at bonusstagemarathons.blogspot.com right down there. Or you can look them up at justintv slash bonusstagemarathons. The link is right down there. Why do I do that? I should do it like Alan One does this. But they have some good people playing the games, and I say check them out once or twice over the weekend, you won't be disappointed. Now to the matter at hand. Um, this is a special shout out to my Kloss. Who, if it weren't for him, we wouldn't have a Dumb Answer of the Week, nor would we have a contender for the Wayne this year. Spike TV debuted a new game show to, uh, well, to help bolster their ske Tuesday schedule instead of just airing three hours straight of Auction Hunters. Well, to be honest, I'd rather have the three straight hours of Auction Hunters. But anyways, this is a show called Repo Games, and... Pretty much, it takes Operation Repo, um, Repo Wars, you know, all these uh, Repo Guy shows, and add a quiz element to this. How do they do that? Well, they go to an unsuspecting person's house, and they repossess their car. Well, part way. They get it hooked up on the truck, and then they tell the people, hey, you're on repo games. Get three questions right, we'll pay the car off. If not, it goes to the impound lot. You want to play? Um, but before that, before they get to that segment, you get a whole bunch of pissed off people. Um, I, there was a story uh, going around the internet that somebody actually shot at them. And it wasn't even the guy whose car was getting repoed. Damn! I know repo guys are hated, but I didn't f think they were that hated. But anyways, um, the game is, well, pretty much, it's cash cab for the low class, white trash, uh, black stereotypes, you know, the bro and his hoe. And that's just pretty much it. Um, I can say a couple good things about this, is that the repo guys asking the questions, they're okay. I mean, they're not overly bad. Um, I wouldn't put them in a top 25 list of greatest hosts of all time, but they're serviceable and they know what the hell they're doing, and plus they also come up with some funny lines. Which, for a show like this, is okay. But where does it fall flat? It's pretty much this. It's, uh... If you've seen Cash Cab, it's pretty much the same thing. Cash Cab is a lighter... is much lighter, and this one is about... not paying your bills. Not paying your car payments. And you answer questions and somebody will pay them off for it. What type of message is that, to be honest with you? I mean, it just shows financial irresponsibility, and we all know financial irresponsibility is what caused this big financial mess that we're in. Eh. Why do I say these things? Why do you watch me say these things? Why do you... What the hell am I doing? Watching stuff like that. I could be watching Car and Family Feud. I could be w during this time, because uh, it was on a. F I don't know what time it was on. I think it was on at like five o'clock here. I could be watching Improvaganza and Baggage on GSN. I could be watching the news. 
hell, I could be watching infomercials and be better watching than repo games. It's got a great train wreck factor, though, but if you're not into train wreck TV, you're not going to be interested in this, and I'm not interested in train wreck TV. I mean, it's probably the same reason why I steer away from network TV. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of train wreck factors going on. <sighs> The way they do the questions, um, I'll back to repo games. Um, the way they do the questions is normally they come up with a couple of hard ones at the start, and then they break out a few easy ones before you get to the fifth question. I mean, it's poorly done. I mean, the whole thing is just poorly done. It could have been a lot better, but. Then again, how can you make a game show about people's cars and bikes getting repossessed into yay moments? And they can't do that. Um, is this worse than Love Triangle? No, it's not. But in my opinion, it has bumped New Millionaire off that top contenders list. And that's saying something, because you know how bad I railed against that one. Um, I think it's placed third or second. I think it might be a tie for second between that and Million Dollar Money Drop. Uh, but once again, um, go to bonus stage marathons, support them, donate. You won't be disappointed. It's... For those who know on YouTube, it's ran by Corn Shack, who does great playthroughs. And I need to know editing. But who cares? Anyways, take care, everyone, and hopefully you enjoy bonus stage marathons. And uh, keep on the lookout for Game Show Garbage. It's uh, UK Month starting in May. Blimey. I guess. So, when May 1st rolls around, or sometime first week of May, you'll see a blog, or a vlog, about uh, the new BBC game show. Don't scare the hare.